Guys are losing the battle on a dating app like Tinder, Pondol, OkCupid and others. Today on Brighter Life Institute, I want to give you some tips to better win your chance to get a meeting face-to-face -face, or a date with a girl from an online dating website. Let's do that. Today on Brighter Life Institute, I want to talk to you about the dating app and how many men are not getting pretty much nothing on those dating apps. Dating apps are umbiguous feature to modern romantic life, but no one really gives you a rule book on how to use them properly. Use your tech to Tinder or Bundle with a basic idea of the app functionality, but no real clue about how to present themselves in the best possible light and interact meaningfully with the human whose profile pop up in their queue. No wonder then that so many men are using Tinder bundle and over dating app of choice all wrong from being undiscerning in the right swapping to having blank bios to being unable to take rejection on the chin to make it work to this advantage it doesn't have to be this way for all the most common dating app mistakes are easily to rectify, but first you need to understand what you're doing wrong. I want to give you some tips how to better in your dating experience on those dating apps. One, your picture. Your picture, women like men are drawn to the picture especially when you go to a dating app like Tinder where the first thing you see is the picture and the speed to select a profile on a dating app like Tinder can be so fast therefore you need to have a clear nice and attractive picture of yourself we are living in an age where everyone wants to look good but not just to look good isn't it everyone want to look like a top model you can blame the kardashian for that but yeah everyone doesn't just want a picture they want to look like they are part of the top model elite the reality is many people are not interested to see the average dude picture unfortunately this is the truth Everyone want to see the sex appeal and people that look super attractive. It's sad, but it's the reality when you go on a dating app. Dating app, first of all, are very visual. It is only visual first and women also fall for this. Use an editing tool to make yourself and your picture look good. Some people are using some loop video. It look great. Stop advertising your cock. Seriously, it's not attractive. Some guy um, uh, show picture of their dick, of their cock. Well, seriously, maybe that work for some girls but for many girls, this is a put off. Girls do not have the same motivation, visual than a man. A man may be getting excited when you see ass, some breast, some lips, uh, and 
etc. Women do not really get excited to see the picture of your cock. So don't have the picture of your cock on your dating Tinder OkCupid or whatever profile you have. It's just bored. Make women feel bored to death to see this. Okay? Two, having the wrong attitude. Yeah. One, too many guys, first line is not a hello. How are you? But communicate to be looking for sex and not communicating anything else than that. They don't ask any question apart than this. You guys won't approach a girl in a real life that way. What makes you think this will be attractive with a girl online? You guys need to try to make a bit of conversation with the person, the human that you just match it with. If you come and the first message you send is, I want sex, I want fun, guys, maybe you're in the wrong place to do this. You should try the red district or some prostitute room where you're getting a better result. But on online dating, you need to kind of think that you have kind of normal people, they have normal job, they are not prostitute to come as a customer and say, I want sex, I want fun. You're not dealing with robot. This is not Amazon sex. This is an online app with people that you don't know, that you're trying to know and trying to get something for. So it's not a good idea to just send as a first message, I want sex. Okay? The second things in that category is many guys after they match with the girl don't send any message at all and stay on her cue. What do you expect that a girl are going to send you a message first? Maybe this can work in your mind. You think the girl need to choose me, but in life you got to make things happen. So you know you don't waste your time. Send a hello, for God's sake. Or say something. Don't just stay in the queue after you match with a girl. If you match with a profile, that means there's something she saw of you. But girls online get so many messages from guys all over the place, all over the world. I mean, Tinder is pretty much present to every country. It's not just one guy that is sending message and matching with that girl. It's thousands of guys. She has a queue of guys in her profile. And if you want to stand out, you need to do exactly that. Stand out by saying something. Send something. Send in the wrong message. The first message that some guy send is, I'm looking for sex. Yeah, that one again. I want fun. Guys, you are not dealing with prostitute here. Yeah. Maybe there's some prostitute there, but the majority of the girls there, I'm pretty sure they are not prostitute or sex slave. Is any of you got any idea that you've been disrespectful? I mean, come on. Would you do that if you're on the street and tell, come to a girl that you don't know, you don't know anything about, you don't know her name, and say, I want sex, I want fun? You would get some serious problem if you do that in real life. So what makes you think that you're not going to get that online? If you get any girl that fall for this, then you can expect that girl to not be well in herself. Seriously. Do you really want do you really want sex? 
from someone that maybe is mentally ill or crazy next to your cock. I know I won't like that. Many guys think they can say I want sex to a girl and she will magically say yes of course come over here baby right and she he didn't ask about her name who she is nothing and expect to be successful with this why why do you guys do that and why do you think this is going to be successful four stop going on a dating app when you are bored and lonely if you are bored don't go on a dating app as your boredom get felt in your message and engagement some guys have zero energy invested in this go on the dating app when you feel confident about yourself so you can try to be fun too many guys go on a dating app when they are bored to death really to death and they are lonely and they are horny and they don't have anything to do so their friend when out or their friend are busy with their girlfriend in the real life you know leaving it and they are single lonely bored because they don't know what to do else and they go on a dating app swap left swap right and when they match with someone they don't even make any effort to send any message because they are bored to death I don't get it guys if you're bored to death you go on a dating app surely you should have the conscious desire to match with someone to talk to someone and maybe to meet and having fun but if you go there just swap and write and don't talk or have such a boring conversation because you don't realize you're talking to a human you're confusing messaging a robot to a human yeah there's real people behind that message so don't go on a dating app when you're bored and lonely and have the wrong energy. All right? Stay at home, watch Netflix, touch yourself, I don't know, get busy. 5. Have a bio written for God's sake. Many guys have nothing at all or they talk of sex stop talking about sex okay some guys doesn't have anything at all in their bio try to write something and likely something fun not something that make can make a girl smile making a girl laugh and smile is still a big point in the dating world it still matter even you're ugly if you can make a girl laugh ah that's a big plus so try to write something in a bio and don't talk about sex don't put picture of your cock it's not attractive all right it's not interesting whatsoever no matter how big your cock is how small it is it's not interesting to look at a picture of a cock all right six read the bio ask question to the girl yes communicate you are not messaging or matching with a robot or empty space you are matching with a human being all right so try to picture that and connect with that many guys don't read the bio of the girl they match with that girl have indicated she doesn't want a one night stand she is not interested by that and she get guys asking her sex on the first message how boring and how annoying result of this you get on march faster that you could notice what she was wearing put some bit of effort in your heart online guys yes 
come on, you have a girl there you don't know anything about. If she have taken the time to write something, so she is there to look for something. Some girls, they also go online because they're bored. They don't want anything. They're lonely. Some girls have low self-esteem, low self-confidence. But the girls who have taken effort to write something is an education, an indicator that she mean business. She's seriously looking for something. So try to find out what, what is it that she's looking for. It don't present what she says she was not looking for. Be a sale man. If a girl say I don't want a one night stand and you talk about all I want is sex. What are you doing? It's like you don't respect what she's asking for. It doesn't work. You're not going to change her mind. If a girl does not, is not looking for one night stand and she indicated that clearly, you must read the bio and try to have a bio yourself so you can connect a bit. Yeah? Seven. Again. Stop talking about sex. Guys online got a bad reputation as it seems all they are looking for is a hookup and an easy sex. A girl also don't want a cheap guy and an easy guy. If you want to be seen, stop advertising your cock to anyone that say yes. Yes, I know you want it. Yes, the sex. Okay, I get it. But maybe if you're talking too much about it, you won't get any. There's some guys online that that's all they talk about. Sex, 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 sex. And how many, how much they get from it? Zero. Like nothing at all. They don't get it, no sex. So stop talking about it. You know, try to have more class. You know, men that have class, we girls love that. A guy that have confidence. But when you're just there like, oh, I want sex from somebody you never talk about, somebody you, you don't know anything about, it's boring, really, it's really boring. You know, and most people online, they are bored to death. That's why they're online and they're lonely. And if you bore them more, what do you think is going to happen? Eight, stop indicating if you want a relationship or not. Stop it. Just go with the flow and live your life. You don't need to decide straight away if this girl is going to be your girlfriend or not. Too many guys fuck this up by saying, I don't want a relationship. Just be silence. Sometimes silence is the best policy. Why do you get so stressed out about this? You can go out on a date with a girl. You can sleep with a girl. You don't have to straight away talk about relationship. I mean, come on. Why cut the deal straight away before you ever have entered it? Look who you have in front of you. Maybe you can be amazed by what you found. Apart, you already have a girlfriend, don't you? But if you are single, why are you cutting your step that way? You're closing the door before you open it. No man close the door before they open it. Men know how to leave the door open. But many of you are doing this, saying, I don't want a relationship. It's a put off for women. It's really a put off. So if you want to be successful, don't say anything at all. If she asks, what do you want? You say like, I'm here. I want to see what is around, like everybody else. And we will see. I will judge my action and my decision based on the per person. That's the answer. Not like you decide from everybody that you meet, I don't want a relationship. That's just a bad indicator, a bad dating strategy, bad move from you guys. A man should know how to be strategic. And that is the worst strategy 
that the guy put on the table straight away. He has not entered the door yet, and it's like, I don't want a relationship. That doesn't benefit you in any way whatsoever. So keep it silent. Be observant. I don't cut your chance or whatever is going on before you have evaluated what is going on really okay really too many guys fuck it up by talking about i don't want a relationship girls don't appreciate a guy that talk too much especially when this is already um it's about dismissing her to not be worth it, not be good enough. This doesn't work. So you need to be smart to keep it silent and instead to use your mouth, use your eyes and observe and to be in the present moment and live in it and see what's going on. Sometimes we get surprised by what we get what's going on. Too many people online judge people based on their looks, on their picture. One, many of those people don't look like that guy, I can tell you that. And two, sometimes the look of somebody do not reflect the quality of the person they are. So just keep it silent. Especially when you're online, you never met the person. You don't even know if that person is the person on the picture. There is absolutely no reason for you to talk about a relationship with somebody that you don't know anything about. Even if you don't want a relationship, it doesn't matter. You are on a dating website. You want to meet up somebody. And many of those people that you want to meet up if you're a guy are girls. And girl want a relationship many girls do so if you are already telling her you don't want what she wants for x reason doesn't matter your reason you are out of the game you don't want to be out of the game you want to enter the game to enter the game you need to to meet the criteria the criteria of women most of them Women want a relationship with a guy. That's why they're there. They are not there for the meat, for the, the sex. Some women are there for the sex and for using a man for his money. But most women, they want a relationship. So you want to meet that criteria. And you don't, you don't want to say, yes, I want a relationship. Just to enter the game. But you, it's not smart to mention it. There is no reason to mention it. You are there. To talk to the person, see if you can get a date and meet up. Nothing more than that. Okay? Nine. Have a complete introduction of you. I know that matching with so many people can be tiring. Well, some of you don't get any match, so it should not be too hard. Nine. Have a template introduction of yourself. I know matching with so many people can be tiring, but I know also that some of you doesn't have that much match in your inbox. So if you have few match, that is an opportunity for you to really focus and send something uh, that you have prepared, okay? Um, and I know that uh, if you have a lot of match, uh, that can be tiring. As you don't know who is worth the effort and sadly you got to put some effort uh, to get some result and that is just life but you got to save your energy as well all right uh, prep yourself and put together some template uh, response that you can send to people you match with um, Engage uh, when you get a person responding as there's no point to um, you know uh, send put too much effort uh, and writing to somebody that is not responding. So having those template ready for you to say hello, how are you, where you come from, you know something like that, and be more 
engage in 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 for real uh, in a conversation with the person uh, uh, when they respond uh, will uh, save you a lot of time so example if you match with 20 people you send the same uh, response template to the person and just uh, start a conversation with people that uh, responding to you because I know uh, some people are not responding they say hi or they don't say anything or they stay on your queue and there's nothing happening so like I say you need to make it happen it's the same thing in real life in real life if we want something we need to make it happen if it's not coming to us we need to make it come into us okay 10 have a virtual chat or call uh, one check who is the person by having a phone call or video call so you can see that the person on the picture is actually the person it's really important uh, when you trying to meet somebody online yes you you like the picture and you can have a nice conversation on a chat but still you have to check if the person is quite the person that you are seeing on the picture too many times some guys and girls and it happened to me long time ago I was talking to somebody and I, um, online and I was new to this online thing and I really had a really good connection and really good conversation with someone with a man with a guy and this went on for uh, many many months we uh, you know exchanged for numbers and we started to talk and after some time uh, we decided to meet and they were leaving to another country and before that the person said oh I need to tell you something well I could never imagine what that person had to tell me because I was chatting to them they had my phone number uh, we never had a phone call so I never heard their voice or see the picture I mean see them on the video call and that person told me she's a woman she's not a man so to avoid situation like this you need to kind of check if that person that you are kind of connecting with and some of us can fall in love with somebody that we never see on the video call uh, and we start to make some idea uh, about who that person is and everything else but we never saw them on a video call uh, to check who they are if they really match the picture if they are uh, a girl but actually it's an old guy 90 years old behind a computer that is talking to you and exchanging his number with you so you have those things because you also have men that are gay trying to get a date from guys so how to get a, a fast date with a guy is to lie to to be a to be a, a woman and when you're a guy and you have some serial killer and all the things so you do need to step be, step the game uh, on a dating uh, site when the conversation is doing well that you uh, exchange number and start to have that conversation with that person Two, put effort in the conversation don't be boring now you got the number get this fire up your goal is to plan to a face-to-face -face meeting with a person too many guys once they get the phone number they go flat they don't ask any question they don't contact you it's like the phone number was the goal before uh, they get your phone number they were really exciting after they get your phone number there is no more conversation they don't even try to have a, uh, a video call with you or call you um, to have um, uh, uh, to, to have a call to have a, a talk on the phone to hear your voice they keep it at the text message too many guys do that and some girls get suspicious of that because if a guy just keep on a minimum high uh, text message uh, once in a while 
maybe that guy is not single so if you are single you need to step it up you always need to step it up guys I mean guys should try to be good at dating because that's what many guys do they are dating they are going out there they are hunters and yeah hunting a girl is hunting and you need to be good at it so once you get the number try to have a conversation try to have a phone call try to hear the voice try to have the the contact the visual of that person too many of you are not doing nothing at all after you get the phone number 11 make it happen plan a low-cost date yes guy doesn't matter this is 2021 dating still the norm you cannot escape it you go to you got to plan a date to get to your objective naturally you get to meet fantasizing to get to a girl bed and having sex about planning to meet up in a real life will only happen in your mind yes truly the goal to go on online The goal to go online is to meet up in a real life so make that goal happen stop thinking of sex stop it right now as you may get many dates in a week and you cannot afford to take everyone to a restaurant as it's expensive you also should stop planning to just go to her to her or she come to you or go to hotel for sex remove sex totally from your head and cock okay you can plan to meet in a park or cafe a minimum investment of 10 euro by date if you want to do something like that yes for many guys especially the young guys you know that are studying and they don't have much money you cannot really take every girl to a restaurant and pay for an expensive date some girls uh the only motivation out there um to meet a guy is not just for meeting a guy but also get a guy to take them out and a guy that that going to take them to the restaurant so they can dress up and basically get a guy to pay the food and you guys need to know that um dating dating and seeing someone is an investment before you go spend any money at all on someone you need to know if this is worth it for you because you have work for that money and if you match with a lot of people and you feel like this is going on well with this one and going on well with this one you cannot afford to spend your money on every girl that want to go for a date in a restaurant you know so you can easily go to meet a cafe or to a park and just have that connection that talk and also it's a good thing to see if this girl uh, want to do that if she doesn't want to do that or when you meet her to such a place she insists that you take her to the restaurant that you just purge the money on her then you know that if it does not what you want and you cannot afford it then this girl this person is not for you you have to be careful some girls out there want to use guy as much and guy want to use girl but be smart about it someone is an investment but we need to see if they are worth the investment you know what i mean you could have sex with her and the sex is bad and you don't want sex again with her and you just spend what 100 or 200 euro on her it's not worth it really go buy yourself a pair of sneakers or something you know 12 12 um is really important for anyone that is uh, planning to meet someone from the online dating website 
12. Keep it safe, security first. Always inform someone when you go meet a stranger, and especially if you plan to go to their place for sex. Have few condoms with you. Never use a condom that a girl offering you. Always use your own condom. Some girls are not well in the head and some girls pop uh, the condom and because they want kids or whatever. And it's best that uh, when you go somewhere and you meet somebody that you don't know very well, inform somebody where you're going. Uh, leave some trace where you're going if you cannot inform someone and have your own condom with you. Always have that. If you go to her place, um, take the minimum cash with you and leave your credit card at home if you go to her place. Uh, if she come to your place, put any expensive item uh, away because this is a stranger that come to your place uh, you don't know them uh, so you need to protect your stuff until you know the person you kind of need to take care of anything that is expensive and valuable that can be stolen yes people can go to your place and steal not just steal your cock they're not just there for your cock they can also steal your stuff, your watch, your credit card, money, anything else. So you need to be careful with that. Always think um, about your safety. Many guys don't think about their safety when they go to a girl place because they feel confident that this is a girl, she's weaker. Uh, so they they judge it to be, uh, you know, there's no risk, but they can be risk. They are serial. A female killer uh, out there so uh, be careful uh, you know uh, you need also to protect your cock as well as some girl want kids so it's always uh, it's not always about having sex with you you know you also don't want to end up uh, uh, you know having a kids with somebody that you barely know okay 13 be observant if you go to a girl place, look around and check as well. Uh, check out for her clothes, bed, teeth, if they are clean. And if she smell good. I know it's kind of, you know, not comfortable, but yeah. Having sex with someone that have a poor aging can indicate issue of mental health and disease spreader. You don't want to get an illness or SDD uh, to have sex with somebody they have very poor aging or a girl that actually sleep with stranger day in and day out can be at risk to give you disease aid. I need to remind you guys we're still in the middle of a pandemic of the COVID-19 and maybe some of you are vaccinated but even people that are vaccinated can still spread the disease. And like I said, there's over disease that you can get from kissing somebody and um, an aid. If this girl have easily accepted to have sex with you from few message uh, online, maybe she's she has kissed many cock that week, and you don't know if those cock, you know, had some disease that she's gonna put on you. So that's another responsibility, guys. If a girl. Uh, is very easy uh, to say yes to sex you and uh, you meet her and she has poor hygiene her clothes is not been taken care of she smell her teeth is brown uh, then that's an indication that you're maybe dealing with somebody with some kind of uh, mental issue and someone that maybe have a illness or some something of, of the sort so you may want to back out a bit of your uh, you know having sex with somebody that can give you more that you have bargained for okay so there you go guys the main thing you need to remember 
here is to stop mentioning sex and relationship I mean why would you do it why would you mention sex and, and relationship you are sending a message on somebody online that you don't know you don't know them there is no reason for you to stress out and mention in sex or anything else you don't know them so relax and observe and see what's going on okay your conversation with a girl online um, you know uh, you need to try to have a, a bit of conversation and uh, try to see it like uh, what is happening in real life because you're dealing with human being you're dealing with real people so uh try to not just see like okay there's so many faces here and uh and uh yeah i don't need to do anything uh nothing happened in life about us doing something towards it nothing so the idea of preparing a template that you can send to everybody straight away that you match with so then you open a conversation you open the door is a good idea and uh, yes so that's my advice for you guys uh, uh, just be aware that many girls get uh, so many a match so many uh, message from guys all around the world online the uh, the competition is very high online and yes some girls are looking for the guy that look like a model uh, that show that he has a car money and things like that uh, and that is the the negative things what's going on in her society right now where we have so many people that have pictures like the model so if you don't look like a model if you are not the uh, you, you are the average guy with the average look you are ugly you are going to have a hard time to get a girl so you kind of to get a girl when you are average and you don't have the six pack you are not um, looking the Brad Pitt then it's for you to step up you need to step up when you get a match and to do uh, you know to do it differently you know it's like business there's so many business out there everybody have opened different business but what's make the difference with the new business is what they do and if you want to get some results you need to act differently than the crowd okay so this is my tips for you guys and i hope it's going to help you you know especially the young guys be careful of your money and do not adv advertise your cock too easy i mean seriously there are girls that just want sex but it's not really the the percentage of girls that just want sex so picture of your cock talking about sex talking about fun and only talk about what you want doesn't it's not attractive try to have more skills in dating to get a good result okay so i'm alicia from brighter life institute and this was a pleasure and i wish you a good hunt and a better experience on a dating website bye